Hi, this is Alex cooking with Cutie. I'm going to show you how I make Jello popsicles. So I'm just using some Kroger brand strawberry Jello, just one packet, and you can use any kind. I think I'm using sugar free. I'm not totally sure, but uh, yeah. So I'm just boiling one cup of water, and I'm mixing it into the bowl of jello powder. Uh, you want to make sure that you get all the clumps out so that, well, you don't bite into a big, dusty, gross, nasty glob of jello. <laughs> that would be horrible. So once, uh, once you've got that mixed up, pour in your one cup of cold water and mix that in and I'm just using my popsicle mold to uh, I'm just filling it in there <laughs> and there's the unfrozen product and leave it in the freezer for a few hours to set you could even leave it in the fridge and just have normal jello but on a stick I guess I'm not sure how that would work so you just want to, you know, turn some hot water. It doesn't have to be too hot, but just hot enough. And you run the mold under that to release it, melt a little bit. And it should come out pretty easily. There I am running it under the water. I'm just getting one out. Uh... But yeah, you'll see it comes out fairly easy. There you go. And I'm sorry for my uh, cam freezing again. My program sucks. So there it is. And it's really good. Tastes like jello, but it's got a weird textural thing. I don't mind textural differences, but it's like a popsicle on the inside, but jello on the outside. And then there's just some photos. Again, it would be really cool if you did just normal jello. And yeah, that's uh, jello popsicles, and thank you for watching. Bye!